Hey there guys, my name's Liam and welcome back to uh, episode 27 of Crash Items. Um, we're going to go back into this cave now as a creeper falls down and we can just kill this real quick. There we go. Um, but yeah, this is a huge cave. If you remember last time, last episode we actually started exploring it and we got a good bunch of diamonds and stuff. Nine diamonds, a couple of lapis or a bit of iron, so that's all good. It's all very welcome. Um, I never bring bows with me. I don't know why that is, but I just never do it. It's weird. Um, so let's... Uh, let these creepers come towards us now, because we're not afraid of a good fight. Oh. Now you. Oh, I thought he was going to go. Sort of glitchy there. Um, How many torches do we have, actually? Because I might have to cut and go upstairs and get some torches. Not upstairs, but... uh, Unless we find, like, a... Oh, this is crazy. We're nowhere near going to have enough torches. Oh, God. He has leather armor. There we go. Got out of that predicament right there. Um, okay. I'm going to cut, and then uh, I'll be back in this exact place with a couple of torches. Um, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as promised, I've got uh, two stacks of torches with me this time. Um, oh, skeleton. Straight off the bat. No rest for the wicked. You have no idea how difficult it was to actually get out of this cave and uh, then find my way back as well. Um, I've been in this cave for like half an hour just trying to find my way back to where I was. Um... But I, I did come across diamonds on my way back up to the top. Didn't get them, though, because it wasn't on camera. But uh, I want to see if I can find them again. But knowing my luck, I probably won't be able to. Um, but, yeah, running out just showed me how big this cave was. It's crazy. Um, I would have loved to record it because um, it took me about half an hour in total. But obviously, I didn't have torches, so you guys wouldn't have had the best view of it all. So, couldn't have done that. Um... So I know how difficult it can be for you um, if you're a viewer and then someone doesn't place torches down like I'm doing now. <laughs> uh, it can be really difficult to see because of the whole uh, screen gets darker when you upload it to YouTube thing. So that's kind of annoying, but uh, oh well. Um, you can turn the brightness of in Sony Vegas, but generally I don't like doing that. So I had to go back up to the top off camera, grab some more torches for you guys. And now we can keep on caving this awesome cave. Um... I actually entered the cave the second time when I got all the to all the torches I needed through the... Uh, if you remember in episode 2, we found a jungle temple and we had broke it up. I actually... There was a cave entrance like two blocks away from it and it led down to this cave. So that was kind of cool. So that's how I got back in here after I got all the torches, which was uh, kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we're just going to keep mining here, keep caving. You know, it's always a fun thing to do in Minecraft. What's my difficulty on? Normal. It's a couple on hard. Because I, I always seem to... Whenever I seem to log on, it always seems to be on easy. But apparently it's on normal now, so that's kind of cool. Um, What can I talk about while I cave? You see, I always start recording when I've got no topics, and it's never a good idea. <laughs> uh, caving generally is quite easy to commentate over, though, because so much is happening. And that's great um, for a, a commentator, is when um, a lot's happening at once, because it means that we can commentate on the game as well as a die bat. No, okay, you can live. Um, it means we can talk, commentate on the game rather than keep finding subjects. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Hopefully we'll run into a dungeon pretty soon as well. And you still need to convert those two dungeons we found earlier in the cave into a uh, XP grinder. Which is really cool because it's like dead on uh, dead on our base. So we can have like wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy and then just go get some XP, you know. Just chill. <laughs> um, I always need to remember to bring a bow with me in the future as well. Uh, I need to remember to do that. Oh, there's lava down there. That's never a, a fun thing, unless it means diamonds, which often it does. Did I bring a bucket? No, I'm too stupid to bring a bucket of water. Okay. Um, let's go down to the lava, because that's always a good idea. Okay. I really should have bring, brought a bucket of lava. Um, some redstone here we can get. Make some uh, beautiful redstone blocks. Lovely jubbly. There's a lot of lava down here. It's crazy. Um, but it's good because lava lights things up. So it means I, I can save my torches. Which is always nice. Let's go up here. This looks intriguing. Are we at diamond level? Um, we are exactly at diamond level. So we might run into a couple of diamonds here. And I know there's more diamonds in these caves. Because I, I ran across them when I was going back up to the top. But obviously as I've already said I didn't get them. Because uh, you guys would have accused me of cheating. I'm not a cheat. 
Let's put some more torches down here. Um, caving is a lot more difficult on camera because you need to remember to place torches every step. It's like, I'm sure many of you guys uh, use the caving method of scouting ahead, then coming back and placing torches, but with commentaries, you have to... Um, give me a second here. Didn't make it. Potato. No, no potato. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, with commentaries, you have to uh, place a torch every step of the way instead of scouting out the area beforehand, killing a couple of mobs, and then placing the torches. You can't do that. Because then obviously you guys can't see. And um, we can see, but you can't see as well. So uh, video quality might not be as great. Um, I don't want to say anything too much about this next topic, but uh, a couple of the guys over on Redcubed have got a new idea for a series, which hopefully I'll be taking part in. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that, because I'm not sure if it's going to fall through or ever, so I don't want to get your guys' hopes up. Um, when it's for certain, I'll let you guys know when you guys can uh, tell me if you want to see it on my channel or not. Um, so that'll be up to you guys, uh, but I think it'll be kind of fun if it does uh, come to be. Um, so that's that, that's all I'm going to say on that, just so I don't get your guys' hopes up to get, oh, okay, we're going to play an awesome series now, and then it falls through. Dungeon? Please be a dungeon. Not a dungeon, is it? Where did that cobblestone come from then? Interesting. Très intéressant. Bit of French fear. <laughs> Let's see our carrots. I need to get some watermelons on this world, but I'm not sure where we can find a uh, abandoned mine shaft. We've not run into one yet. We might run into one in this cave actually, because it's so so large. So you never know. Oh, glitchy Minecraft is glitchy. Let's place some more torches here. Some lava data. Is this, uh, was this my doing, or? I think it was my doing, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. I think I've already been down here before. So, patch this up. And, um, any diamonds for us? Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay. Hopefully no creeper comes behind us. Place a torch. Nothing on this side, I don't think. Nope. It's good that we're getting these caves all, uh, all lit up. Because it means that our... When I finally make a, a mob trap, it means... Oh yeah, I placed that. It means that uh, our rates will be a lot better because then there's nothing spawning in the caves underneath us, which is great. It's exactly what we want. We uh, we want the best rates from our mob trap that we can get. And the, the fact that it's a double mob trap will uh, suggest that the rates are a tiny bit higher than a, a usual one, which is also great. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting all that mob trap stuff set up real quick. Um, up here maybe. We've we been up here. I think there's some torches that I just saw. So yeah, we've been up here. Um, oh, some gold there that we missed though. Oh god. Ooh, that was not good. Oh, that could have been uh, fatal, as Bear Grills or Badge Grills says. Okay, so we got our gold ore here. Jump across here, get this iron. Lovely jubbly in my tummy. Um, okay. So we've already been up there, that's correct. We can place a torch down there so nothing spawns. Let's put a torch here as well. Let's get rid of this so we can jump up. Up, up, up. And then we can go trace that waterfall up there as well. Um, as I said uh, in the previous episode, I'm trying to keep uh, all my videos, not just this uh, Quest for Item series, but all my videos to about 15 to 20 minutes because it seems to be what you guys want to see mainly oh god oh this sword's running now that's not good we've got 139 hits left on the sword so that uh, should see us through but if it doesn't then we're screwed because it's the only sword I have on me at the moment so um, yeah that could be bad this cave might actually turn into like three parts who knows um, pretty epic cave though Place this. What's down here? Oh, hey, I was shifting. You guys saw I was shifting there. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, I wasn't shifting. I was pressing the wrong key. Like, I need to be more careful. <laughs> oh, my heart was just in my mouth right then. I was uh, crazy. Um... That's the shift key, Liam. Not that. That is not the shift key. That is the shift key. 
Okay, now I know. Um, oh, I know what I can talk about. I had my first driving lesson um, on Saturday. Today I'm recording this is Sunday the Sunday the 3rd of February. Um, so you guys will probably see this in like a week's time or something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, this Saturday, or a couple of Saturdays ago for when you're watching the video, is a, was my first driving lesson. It went great. I actually um, drove on a main road. I got did a couple of roundabouts and things like that. So that was really cool. Really enjoyed that. Um, so, big thank you to my parents for uh, organising that. I have uh, 10 more and 10 more driving lessons until my test. So, uh, yeah, I'm really nervous for that, but hopefully it'll go okay. Um, I'm sure with a... Uh, with my great uh, instructor, I'll, I'll do just I'll do just fine and hopefully pass first time. Um, in case any of you are wondering from America, uh, the age of uh, driving here is 17. Um, well, basically you can uh, pass your test at 17 and then you can drive and stuff. But you're allowed to drive like tractors on private land at the age of 12 and stuff like that. And as long as you're on private land, I think you can drive like the age of whenever i don't think there's actually a limit unless it's like three years old or something um but yeah to drive on main roads and stuff you were uh, you have to be 17 or older and i am 17 which means i started my driving lessons which was very fun and i really enjoyed that so glad i could share that with you guys um okay i think we might actually be done with this cave now Actually, I don't think we are because I remember seeing diamonds on the way out and we've not seen them yet. So maybe there's another part of the cave that I'm just missing. So I hear spiders. This pick's about to break. It's got 27 hits on it. It's about left. Yeah, we've already been here. Oh, there is more cave though. That's great. Okay. I'll never turn up more cave. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Couldn't get my sword out then, that was crazy. Oh my god, these creepers. Don't even know where they're spawning because I placed torches around here before. Oh god. Oh, I thought there was lava underneath there. That would have been really bad. Was the diamonds down here, maybe? I don't know. I don't think they were. Let's put those. So we've got a stack of torches and a bit left. That's good. Um, Spartacus is back on our screens. I'm loving Spartacus, one of my all-time favourite TV series. Um, so I'm really sad that that's back. It's on episode 2 at the moment. Um, so let me know if you guys are actually watching Spartacus. It would be pretty cool if you are. Um, but yeah, I, I'm loving the new series of Spartacus. It's kind of cool because I'm learning... I do ancient history for um, my A-levels, which is like... the um, For any of you who don't know, that's the uh, grades and the uh, exams you need to sit to get into university. It's a, it's higher, higher education, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I do uh, ancient history in that, so everything covered in Spartacus, like Marcus Crassus and Octavian Caesar, you know, all that is covered in Spartacus as well as in my ancient history module. So it's cool to see uh, the, the differences and know a couple of the stuff before it's going to happen. Um, you feel quite smart when you're watching Spartacus, like, but not many people can say that. <laughs> Um, but no, I'm loving that Spartacus is back on our screens. Walking Dead is back in seven days, or one, one week, um, on the 10th of February. So I'm going to look forward to that. I'm a big TV guy. I love my TV series. Um, a lot of friends get me into TV series, and then I end up getting addicted to them when they are, they like wear out the TV series, thinks, oh, it's not good anymore. And I'll still be there addicted to every TV series they've recommended to me in the past. Um, but yeah, I love her. Uh, the stuff like Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, Spartacus, I love it all. Um, it's all very good. Uh, it's great to pass the time as well. Um, ooh, Enchanted Bow, what have you got? Flame, I want it. I want the flame. Oh, I didn't drop. But I love the flame bow. Um, zombies now, if you if they're on fire, they will um, set you on fire, so that's kind of cool. And the itchy nose there, so I had to back up while this skeleton shot me. Stop it, skeleton! I need to eat as well, after I kill this dude. Um, I'm going to check how long I've been recording for. Let me just patch this up real quick. And then we can check how long we've been recording for. And if I deem it to be long enough, then this will actually be a three-part caving series. That's kind of cool. Just get all these guys out the way. Okay. Um, I'll be right back, guys. And then we can check how long we've been recording for. And if it's over 15, 17 minutes, something like that. 
then uh, we'll call it an episode. And uh, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, it appears that we've been recording for dead on 15 minutes. So that's very cool. Um, I'm going to actually call this an episode here, and then next episode we'll go explore more of the cave. And if uh, if there's not really much of the cave left, then uh, I will do something else above ground. So hopefully you guys enjoyed episode 27 of Crash for Light Sims. My name's Liam. Hopefully I'll see you guys in episode 28. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like rating. It helps me out a lot. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. So if you want to anyway. Um, uh, yeah, please subscribe if you want to see any future episodes of Crash for Light Sims or my Pokemon series or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. My name's Liam, and I will see you in episode 28. Later, guys. See you, Skeleton. What's he shooting at? I'm curious. Shooting at something. Was he shooting at the wall? You know what? Oh, cool, I killed him. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Yay!